Hello students! Our lesson is all about graphing linear inequalities in two variables presented by yours truly, Teacher Abigail. Learning Competency Illustrates and graphs linear inequalities in two variables. Objectives At the end of the topic, 80% of the students with 80% proficiency should be able to first graph the linear inequality in two variables. Second, determine the regions of the graph of a linear inequality in two variables. Third, show interest in graphing linear inequalities. Let's have a quick review. Identify what symbol is appropriate to make mathematical statement true. For letter A, we have 10 blank 5. Very good. The answer is 10 is greater than 5. Next, for letter B, we have negative 8 blank 9. That is the right answer. It is negative 8 is less than 9. For letter C, we have 8 blank 7. Correct! The answer is 8 is greater than 7. And finally, for letter D, we have negative 11 blank negative 12. Good answer! It is negative 11 is greater than negative 12. Now, let's move on to our lesson. It is all about graphing linear inequalities in two variables. In graphing linear inequality in two variables, we must first change the given inequality to an equation and transform the equation into slope-intercept form. Second, graph the line using the y-intercept and the slope. Third, select a test point either side of the line to determine which side of the line is true for the given inequality. And finally, fourth, shade the side that satisfy the inequality. When we graph linear inequalities in two variables, we must remember that if the inequality is either less than or greater than, it is not bound or broken line. And if the inequality is either less than or equal, or greater than or equal, it is bound or straight line. Let's have the illustrative example. Graph the given linear inequalities. For letter A, we have negative x plus y is equal to 1. First step, we're going to change the given inequality into an equation, which is negative x plus y is equal to 1. Then, change it into slope-intercept form of a line. So, we have y is equal to x plus 1. We can determine now what is the y-intercept and the slope. The y-intercept is equal to positive 1 and the slope is equal to 1. Next, step 2, we're going to graph. You have to remember that we're going to start with the y-intercept, which is 1. Plot the point. Then, our slope is equal to 1. And remember that the formula for the slope is rise over run. So, we can say that our slope is equal to 1 over 1. We're going to move upward 1 unit. Then, we're going to the right 1 unit. So, here is our second point. Then, we're going to connect the points. Next, for step 3, we're going to use our test point. Usually, the test point is 0, 0 or the origin. Especially when the line do not pass through the origin. We're going to use 0, 0 and substitute it to our original inequality. 
which is negative x plus y is greater than 1. So substitute the value of x, which is 0. So we have negative 0 plus the values of y, which is 0, is greater than 1. So we have 0, 0, or negative 0 plus 0, the answer is 0, is greater than 1. So we can say that the statement is false because 0 must be less than 1. Now, we can say that the origin is not included in our shaded region because we achieve or we have a false statement. Now, here is our shaded region. As you can see, from straight line, we have an unbound line or dashed line because the given line, which is negative x plus y is equal to 1, is not included in our solution. Letter B, we have y is less than negative 3x minus 4. So the first step is change the given inequality into an equation. So we have y is equal to negative 3x minus 4. It is already in the slope-intercept form. So we can easily determine what is the y-intercept and the slope, which is the y-intercept is negative 4, and the slope is equal to negative 3 over 1. Then, step 2, we're going to graph. Now, start in the y-intercept, which is negative 4. Here it is. Then, we're going to move upward 3 units and 1 unit going to the right because we have a negative slope. Then, connect the points. Now, for step 3, using our test point, which is 0, 0, we're going to substitute this into our original inequality. So, we have y is less than negative 3x minus 4. And 0 is less than negative 3 times 0 minus 4. So we have 0 is less than negative 3 times 0. The answer is 0 minus 4. Then we have 0 is less than 0 minus 4. The answer is negative 4. Is 0 less than negative 4? The answer is false because 0 is greater than any negative integer. So we can say that the origin is not included in our shaded part or region. So we must place the shaded region here at the left side of our line. Once again, take a look at our line. Then, from straight line, it becomes broken line because we have a less than. That is why we have this broken line. Now, for letter C, we have y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. Once again, Step 1, change the given inequality into an equation. We have y is equal to 2x plus 3. Let's determine or find the y-intercept and the slope. The y-intercept is positive 3. And the slope is equal to 2 over 1. Then, step 2. Graph. 
we're going to start with the y-intercept, which is positive 3. Then, we're going to move upwards 2 units because our rise is 2 and our run is 1. So, we're going to move 2 units upward and 1 unit to the right. Here it is. Then, we're going to connect the points. Next, step 3. Using our test point, which is 0, 0, we're going to substitute again to our original inequality, which is y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. Then we have 0 is less than or equal to 2 times 0 plus 3. Then we have 0 is less than or equal to 2 times 0. The answer is 0 plus 3. Then we have 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 3. The answer is positive 3. Now, take a look at the statement. 0 is less than or equal to 3. We have two cases. And we can say that the statement is true. Because in our first case, case 1, 0 is less than 3, which is true. And for our case 2, we have 0 is equal to 3, which is false. So, we satisfy one case. So, we can say that our case is, or the statement is true. Now, in our test point, which is 0, 0, it is included or the origin is included in the shaded region. So, here is our graph. And now, because our given is less than or equal, we have a straight line. For our last example, we have x minus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 10. Step 1, we're going to change the given inequality into an equation. So we have x minus 5y is equal to negative 10. Then, change it into slope-intercept form. We're going to have negative 5y equals negative x minus 10. Then, divide both sides of the equation by negative 5. Okay, then we have y is equal to 1 over 5x plus 2. Our y-intercept is equal to 2. And our slope is equal to 1 over 5. Next, step 2. We're going to graph. So, here is positive 2. Because this is our y-intercept. Then, we're going to move upward 1 unit and 5 units going to the right. So, here it is. This is our second point. Then, connect the lines or connect the points. Then, step 3, we have our test point, which is 0, 0, and substitute it to our given inequality. So, we have x minus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 10. Then, 0 
minus 5 times 0 is greater than or equal to negative 10. Then we have 0 minus 5 times 0, the answer is 0, is greater than or equal to negative 10. Then 0 minus 0, it is equal to 0, is greater than or equal to negative 10. So once again, we have two cases. We have case 1, which is 0, is greater than 10, which is true. Then our case 2, we have 0 is equal to negative 10, which is false. So, we satisfy one case to our given statement. So, we can say that the statement is true. Okay? Then, 0, 0 is a part of our shaded region. Let's wrap it up. Fill in the blanks. If the inequality is either blank or black, it is not bound or broken line. That's the correct answer. If the inequality is either less than or greater than, it is not bound or broken line. Next, if the inequality is either less than or equal or greater than or equal, it is black. Good answer. It is, if the inequality is either less than or equal or greater than or equal, it is bound or straight line. Let's exercise our minds. Graph the given linear inequalities. Number 1, x plus 5y is greater than 11. Number 2, 4x minus 3y is less than or equal to 6. Number 3, 3x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 0. For our math quotable quotes, different shades of life make the painting more beautiful. By Mike Dolan. Don't forget to connect with me in the following social media sites. Thank you for watching!